welcome to Getaway and the final leg of my historic trails and wilderness journey of Scotland aboard the ultra-luxurious Scenic Eclipse 2. Well, this is Edinburgh. Last week, we departed Edinburgh and have been charting a course around Scotland's magnificent coastline and islands on our way to the largest island of them all, Ireland itself. Well, we're sailing up the Sound of Mull, and it's one of the most beautiful bodies of water in Scotland. It takes you right into the heart of the islands, and we're going to explore some of the incredible history here. The Sound of Mull separates mainland Scotland from the island of Mull. This is Port William, site of one of the greatest battles between the English and the Scots. And it was small towns like this that really forged that Scottish fierce independence. One of the great things about travelling on scenic Eclipse 2 is that it's more than just a cruise. At every port, handcrafted excursions allow you to dig deeper into each destination. Whether it's military history or magical history, like the Hogwarts Express itself. You know, 20 years ago, this was just farmland. There wasn't any people here at all. But since Harry Potter, this has become a phenomenon. And upwards of six or 7,000 people come here through the summer just to watch this train go by. Its real name is the Jacobite Steam Train. And the iconic image of it sweeping across the Glenfinnan Viaduct was immortalized in all eight Harry Potter films. Well, just like clockwork, four times a day, Hogwarts Express repeats its magical journey from the films. And in a very Harry Potter way, two of those times, it's going in reverse. Beyond the famous trains and military history, this region of Scotland is most famous for its spectacular highlands. Andrew, this is an extraordinary spot. But you mentioned that there was a pretty tragic event that happened here long ago. Yeah, Glencoe is often known as the Glen of Weeping. And one of the reasons is that the government sanctioned murder of a whole clan here in 1692. Really? When Clan MacDonald, their crime was their clan chief had failed to swear an oath of allegiance to the new king, King William III, by the 1st of January uh, that year. And although eventually he did sign the oath, it was too late and on the orders of the king had sent a troop of soldiers down from Fort William about 20 miles north of here and then on the morning of the 13th of February that year uh, the final order came to put every man woman and child under the age of 70 to the sword and show no mercy that's horrendous there is a haunting beauty to the soaring highlands of Glencoe and stories like this by expert guides are what makes a scenic tour so special. I wonder how many people come here and enjoy the fantastic views, but really have no knowledge of that bloody event all those uh, years ago. After a story like that, in a setting like that, it's easy to understand why the Scots like their whiskey. Thankfully, at the foot of the mountains is one of Scotland's oldest distilleries. Why is it that Scottish whisky is always put above every other whisky uh, on, on earth? The water that we get comes from the highest source in the UK. Named after Great Britain's tallest peak, Ben Nevis, is a working distillery smack bang in the middle of Scotland's whisky country. Now, Brian, these look more than a normal shot. Normally, um, we'll pour a 25 mil um, dram for you. And the, the two drams that are poured there is the first one is our Ben Nevis 10 year old. Um, so this is the one that's non smoky. Like beer or bread, whiskey consists of three key ingredients water, grain, and yeast. It's the expertise in combining these three things that separates a good whiskey from a bad one. Mm. Oh, warms the cockles. Mm.